Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be making a luxury candle inspired by this beautiful uh, cologne, Savage from the, uh, Christian Dior. So if you want to see how I accomplish this, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video guys, I'm using a new camera, so I hope uh, you can really uh, notice the difference. I'm gonna be doing a luxury candle inspired by my, one of my favorite colognes guys, which is Sauvage, Sauvage from Christian Dior. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have this on your, um, on your homes. I love the, uh, oh my god, the aroma of this, the fragrance of this is out of this world. So I'm gonna try to uh, get inspired by this in order to make a, a beautiful ca a luxury candle. So in order for me to uh, find out how the different notes on this candle, I went to the uh, uh, Christian Dior website, to the uh, Savage uh, website, and I just wanted to pick the, the different ingredients they use in order to create this beautiful fragrance. So uh, this is why I got the information that I got, because guys, you have to do research before you start making everything. Uh, so this has a uh, Calabrina bergamot, it has uh, Indonesian patchouli, it has sandalwood, it has Indonesian nutmeg, uh, they have uh, sichuan pepper and pink berries, uh, they have woody amber and vanilla absolute uh, to give it a smoking accent and to create a masculine touch. Okay, so what I did guys is I went to the uh, to the candle science because that's that's the, the supplier that I have most of me, uh, most of my uh, fragrance oils. So I'm just gonna try to pick uh, a few of the fragrance oils that contain these different notes. Okay, so the first fragrance oil that I picked from Candle Science, Cedarwood, uh, Cedarwood Blanc, number two is Vetiver, number three is Cashmere Plum, number four are Dragon's Blood, and number fifth is uh, Tonka and Out. Uh, I'm not sure if I had this, the first one, Cedarwood Blanc. So yeah guys, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set up uh, a table in here, I'm gonna uh, pick out all the fragrance oils that I have in here that, I, that could mimic the final result in order to get uh, a beautiful candle inspired by this fragrance. Okay guys, so let me get all set up and I'll be right back. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back. So I have in here all, all the items that I'm gonna need. Guys, I have in here my tray. I have a tray in here full of fragrance oils and I have my fragrance strips that I'm gonna start doing my testing. And I also have my uh, candle making worksheet because I need to write everything down. And uh, so I have in here the notes that I took from the different websites. Uh, so, okay. So I'm gonna start guys, I'm just gonna start saying that I, I don't have, I do not have all the uh, different fragrance oils for this, but I'm gonna do my best to match um, as close as possible. This, I remember this is the, the goal, to match as much as we can for this. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna use this kind of vessel to make the candle. You got this beautiful vessel that I got from 1617. Uh, this beautiful, very thick, heavy glass. Very good quality, very luxurious feeling guys. And this is the, the top in here, I think it's porcelain. Yeah, I think it's porcelain. Look how beautiful it looks. It looks nice and expensive. So that's why I want to make a luxurious candle for this. So, okay, so let's start. So I got in here all my fragrance strips. Take a bunch of them out because I'm going to be using a lot of them. And it's good that I have everything on this on this uh, cake, cake pan in here. So if I spill anything, it's going to be spilling there. And I'm going to be taking notes. Okay, so uh, the first ingredient that they have on the fragrance, it's bergamot. bergamot. So the only bergamot that I have uh, it's from the Wooden Wick Company, which is um, bergamot and ambergris. So I'm gonna be making a sample of this, so I could have it on the side. Bergamot is one of my favorite uh, fragrances. You know, it's, it's so beautiful, the notes. Okay, so this is from the Wooden Wick. I'm gonna be WW, bergamot and ambergris. Now you have to be careful with these guys, because this, um, this combination of oil could be very, very potent. So it could, uh, it could overtake uh, the whole uh, fragrance, the whole, uh, the whole, how do you call it, the final outcome. So let me just, okay, so this is the first one. So guys, what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be smelling them. I just want to make the different samples and I'm just going to put them to the side so they have time to um, to dry on the paper. So I hope this video comes out nice, guys, because I, I was trying to find something better uh, so you could, uh, different, different than the cell phone. Okay, so the next one, uh, it's a patchouli. So the other patchouli that I have, the only patchouli that I have, uh, it's from also the Wooden Wick Company. It's uh, out patchouli and resins. Okay, so let me make a sample of this. Like I told you guys, I love doing this. I think this is my favorite part for making candles. It's just playing with these fragrance oils. I love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it to the side. Okay, the third one that I have in here, it's uh, vetiver. 
I think I have it even in here. Yes, I have it. It's from the candle signs. So let me make a, a strip on that. Vetiver. I don't have cashmere plum, but I have black amber and plum. So I'm gonna try making a sample of that and fragrance strip and then let's see how it goes. Again, it's just I'm trying to, this is a test and we're doing it together for the first time. We're just trying to make something nice, you know, something that smells uh, luxurious. So it doesn't have to be the exact uh, fragrance. Just something inspired on that, on those different notes. Okay, so the next one is gonna be Dragon's Blood, which I have in here, also from Candle Signs. I hope the battery lasts. I have two other batteries for the for the camera. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. The next one, Tonka and Out. Here it is. I'm so glad that I'm doing this. I'm not smelling them yet. I just wanna make the samples and I just put them aside. Otherwise, my nose will get like crazy. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, now I have a few more. Uh, this in here is sandalwood. It's from a company called Sweet Cakes. I never used them before, but I heard very good things about it. I'm gonna uh, link them below. So I'm gonna make a sample of this sandalwood because I don't have any other sandalwood. Okay, and I'm gonna try another one. Uh, this one is from the Wooden Week Company. It's cashmere and vanilla because it's uh, they mentioned vanilla in there and cashmere, so why not? I'm trying all the options guys. This is what happens when you are doing research into finding the, the perfect combination. And again guys, I'm not an expert. I'm just I'm just learning like you guys as we go. So at least you can watch me what I'm doing and if it doesn't come out right, either way, I'm just sharing this with you. You know, I, I share with you my success and my failures, so why not? Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm gonna try this amber and driftwood just for the hell of it, you know? Especially now for the winter, you wanna smell something like woodsy, you know? Okay, so let's see what else I would like to try. Okay, I'm gonna try this from the Pro Candle Supply. This is a cedarwood and amber because they mentioned all over there um, cedarwood blank and I don't have that. So I'm, this is the other, the only cedarwood that I have. So let me just try it. Pro Candle Supply, PCS. I like to uh, bend that a little bit so it, it goes easier in the, into the container. Okay, and then, I'm not gonna use this uh, flowering club, club and sandalwood. Let me see. Oh my God, this is really nice. Let me try this one. I know I'm gonna over, over, uh, overwhelm myself, but you know what? It's, we are playing guys. We are just playing with this, why not? And last but not least, suede and smoke. I love this fragrance. As a matter of fact, I need to get some more because this is the only bottle that I have and it's almost all gone. This is only one ounce. And by the way, guys, I really recommend that you uh, just get like this, you know, one ounce containers. You don't need to buy, uh, how you call it, hundreds, like a bigger size, save you money. For myself, I'm, I'm a, I just like to get everything. Okay, now let's take, get let's get the start at uh, the beginning. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a scent strip. I'm gonna take a scent strip, guys, and I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the, uh, saturate this very well and let it dry. So that's gonna be my inspiration. So I have something to uh, smell with, to compare with. Okay, so now let me just get everything dry and I'm gonna start taking notes as I go along, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put in here, candle name, I'm gonna make a sauvage because I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to copy anyone, guys. Remember, you have to be original in here. We're only using this as inspiration. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the same thing. Uh, now I'm gonna decide on, on the rest of the information later on. I just wanna get this fragrance oil uh, on point and let's see okay let's start okay so the first note is bergamot from italy so let me just so i'm gonna take the bergamot and amber grease okay and i'm gonna mix it with uh oh my god this is so good i'm gonna mix it with vetiver let's see how much the battery i have left oh, i have plenty okay so i'm mixing bergamot and amber and vetiver together wow okay and then i'm gonna have in here swash on the left am i getting any close okay i can find i can see the similarities I can see the, uh, the similarities. So I'm gonna just put this in the side, right in here. And I'm gonna take the bergamot and I'm gonna try cashmere plum, which I don't have. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, cashmere vanilla. Oh my goodness. Uh, the vanilla is too potent in here. So what I do is, if it's too strong, I just push it back. It's much better. When you push it back, the it's not as intense as, as having the, the, the bergamot in here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these two in here. I'm gonna try the patchouli and resins on the side in here. 
So we're gonna try on the same on the same on the same height as the vanilla. Bergamot is gonna be on top. Oh my God, it keeps getting better and better, guys. Let me smell Savage. Very similar. Wow. I can't believe how similar this the smell. Wow. You know what, guys? It this is almost the same. You know what? I'm gonna ask my husband. I'll be right back. Okay. So he he said he does, it, it doesn't smell the same, but it's it, it's a hint of it. So I'm on the right path. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what am I gonna take out? And then I'm gonna take out the patchouli in the resins, and I'm gonna add vetiver. But I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep the cashmere and vanilla. The vanilla it definitely has to be there. There's something that is not okay. Now this the vetiver is too strong, so I'm gonna push it to the side. Okay. So uh, let me try black amber and plum. No, definitely not. Cedar wood and amber, tonka and out. Again, I'm keeping cashmere vanilla and bergamot amber grease. And let me see tonka and out. Oh my God, this is so good. These three together. I think I'm getting close. So I'm gonna keep this. Uh, patchouli and resins, it's too, it's too much. It's too overpowering. Dragon's blood, let's see dragon's blood. Dragon's blood is nice. Okay, compare with sandalwood. I mean with uh, savage. Dragon's blood doesn't go here. Yeah. Okay, let me try with sandalwood. Sandalwood is really nice. Okay, I'm going the right direction now. Oh my God, this is very close. Very close, guys. Uh, let me try the amber and driftwood. I don't think so. Flowering clove and amber wood. No, and amber grease. No, amber and sand. Flowering clove and sandalwood. Okay, so let me just take the sandalwood out and let me just do this one with the clove. And again, let's just see. The clove is too strong. Too strong, the clove. By itself, it's beautiful, but not with this. Okay, suede and smoke. Wow. Let me see this. Suede and smoke. Okay, suede and smoke doesn't go here. So I have tonka and out. Bergamot and under, um, amber grease, cashmere vanilla. I think these three guys, I think these three are the ones that are gonna go. Okay, let me go and ask my husband again. This is beautiful, guys. Oh my God. Let me go ask my husband and be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, so I, I got the results. So I asked my husband to compare between Savage and my own uh, formulation. And he says it's very close but that he likes mine better, I think. That's a good sign. So I'm gonna go with this one, guys. I'm gonna make my luxury candle. It's gonna be, the formulation is gonna be equal parts. Let's see about equal parts. I think equal parts is gonna be perfect. Oh my God, it's, they sing together so well. <sighs> yes, equal parts, tonka and out. Bergamot and amber grease, and cashmere vanilla. A match made in heaven. Yes, okay, so let me get everything set up and I'll be right back. I'm gonna measure the container, guys. Look at how beautiful the container is. Look at how thick the glass is. It's very luxurious feeling. This is what I wanna sell, guys. I think this is beautiful. It looks like, like, a, like a jewel. And so I'm, I'm gonna measure the diameter of this and uh, the water weight. And I'm gonna then make calculations on how much fragrance oil for each of the fragrance oils and the amount of wax. So I'm gonna be doing all those numbers, guys, and because I don't wanna bore you with that. I'm just gonna be back uh, with everything set up for you, okay? Yeah! Three and a half inches. Okay, green, jewel. Okay, now I have to find out the, the water weight. So for that, I'm gonna... Okay, it's gonna be 11 ounces. Okay, guys, so I decided to use cocoa apricot cream uh, wax. I think this is very nice, very luxurious. And so I'm gonna go into the website and find out what kind of wicks they recommend for this. Uh, for this vessel, and I'll be right back, yeah! Okay guys, so I went to the website and they recommend two CDN number four. Also because I'm gonna be using coconut apricot uh, wax. We use, when using this kind of wax, guys, uh, this is very delicate, uh, very luxurious, so you don't need to have a, a big uh, wix uh, to, to make the candle, so it's slow and easy, very romantic, okay? Okay, so let me just uh, get the wix uh, set up on the container and I'll be right back. So I'll take my, uh, my straw. I think this looks fine. I want to try, I want to avoid having to put them too close together, guys. Uh, so let's see how this performs. Okay, so let's try, huh? Let's try to do this, guys. Uh, should I pull them apart a little bit more? Let's see. I think this is good enough. I mean, let me just go with this, okay? I mean, I'm learning, so we're learning together. Yes! Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be using this kind of a, uh, how do you call this, hold, uh, wick holder. I think it's perfect. So I know I have the perfect spacing because it's, it's really, uh, it was meant for this, okay? So I'm just gonna put this in here and then, so this is ready. So let me just 
start getting the rest of the ingredients for the massive for the savage candle ready yes okay guys so i'm gonna use this opportunity to do some uh, photography for the for the container guys so like I have, you know it's, it's a good idea for you guys to, to take uh before and after pictures you know so just whatever that you have just remember this is a new camera so it may be crooked unfortunately this camera cannot zoom i need to get another lens so this is the container that i'm doing guys so i'm, I'm gonna be using a how you call it a baking rack so let me just put it in here and let me just put it in here so what i'm doing guys i'm doing a uh let me just show you let me just bring you guys out so you can see what i'm doing i'm gonna put the inspiration photo here i'm gonna put the cup in here and i'm gonna bring the uh product fragrance oils put it there Okay guys, so I'm gonna continue doing this video with the cell phone. Uh, I'm so glad that I found, that I saw that the, the camera was not filming. So you, you're gonna see how uh, I compose my shots. Okay, let's see what's best for you guys. It's like dancing inside this room, you know? So again guys, I'm using coconut cream wax. I mean coconut apricot wax from the Wooden Week Company. And I did put a little bit of Vibar because I wanna make sure that I get a uh, fragrance and uh, HD. And like I told you before, I'm planning to use a uh, Vibar for all my candles because it's the only way that I can get a decent uh, HD. You know, and again, if people are only paying me a lot of money for these candles, they better deliver. 182, I was thinking maybe uh, adding some color. Should I add some color to this? It's going to be on this beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna add any color. I think the white is gonna be beautiful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some stones. I have some beautiful stones, let me show you. Okay guys, so I have these beautiful stones. Look at how beautiful this is. This is hemat hematite. It's like a gray, uh, very masculine. So I'm gonna keep this out. I have the amethyst. I mean the amethyst and the green together. Yeah! I just wanna take out all my options. Uh, this is clear, I'm not gonna use this on the clear. I have blue, I'm gonna use blue, I mean light blue. Okay, so from all the from all the stones that I have, I'm gonna, maybe I'll combine these two. One side I'll do black and the other side I'll do amethyst. Why not? Well for that I'm gonna have to wait for the uh, for the wax to cool down. 193, I know this wax has to go to 200. Yeah, uh, my friend Vanessa recommends that this go to 200. Sometimes she puts it up to 210. You know, it's kind of way to see the final product. It's gonna be so beautiful, guys. I tried combining these three different fragrance oils, and this is a match made in heaven. Even my husband said that this one tastes, uh, smells better than, than the regular, uh, come on. Let me, oh. 184. You know, I have to be careful with this vessel because it's uh, this boiling water here and I don't want any water to, to get inside the... Uh, and the ne next time I'm gonna be using this, guys, I'm gonna go into the uh, into my grill that I have in there and I'm gonna be warming up in the grill. Okay, it's 195 right now. Okay, guys, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna put this in my grill there because this is not really cutting it for me. It's not going high enough. So I'm just gonna use my grill. I mean, if I have it, why not use it, yeah? Okay, so let's go over there. Just move you this way. You can see better. Yeah, you see guys, I like the uh, the, the cell phone better. Well, this is definitely better, guys. You know what, for now on, I'm just gonna use this grill. This is my chair here. Yeah. Okay, so let me just get, get this ready here and then you put the, the cooling rack in here. And I truly believe, guys, that putting this cooling rack really helps into getting it cool evenly, you know? It's okay, so let's see how hot it is. And I'm gonna add the fragrance oil and stir for two minutes. You see, you have to get it this hot, guys, because it's otherwise, you know, let me check the clock. And it's good to stir with something small like this instead of a, a, a big spatula because you want to avoid um, you want to avoid having bubbles in there. And I think by by, adding, by mixing it with something like this that it doesn't agitate too much. You know, it's it does it does it gets the job done and it doesn't get um, the uh, the air bubbles. You know, therefore uh, avoiding sinkholes. Although I haven't gotten any sinkholes using this wax yet on any of my. Uh, candles i'm glad I'm, I'm so glad i didn't put any color i think it's better without it so uh, the white will really uh shine uh, through the uh the beautiful uh, vessel mm -hmm. here okay i think it's fine let me take a piece of uh, pepper towel so i can wipe this off remember the faster you clean this up the, the less you have to take on the on the sink 181 perfect beautiful this is what i call a thing of beauty Another perfect candle, yes! Let me just clean this up. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll bring her back. Okay guys, welcome back. So let me show you the candle here. It's still uh, getting uh, solidified. 
But I just want to show you the, um, how beautiful it looks. Yes, I'm so happy. Let me just bring you down a little bit so you can see better. So again, guys, I'm trying to put this uh, a little bit this amethyst. Let me show you how beautiful they are. I'm gonna link uh, the website below. It's uh, I think it's called Trifecta Botanicals. Uh, it's an Etsy shop. I'm gonna bring uh, link her. Look how beautiful! Isn't that great? It's gonna go beautiful with the uh, green base. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this. Master Grounder, balancing and ener energizing. This uh, also gives you um, good energy. The amethyst gives you protection, purification, and spirituality. This one is going to give you master grounder, balancing, and energizing. Look how beautiful these are. Look at them. Great. You know, and this is when you buy a no, when you buy a luxury candle, guys. It has to be something uh, different. You know, it's it's people. People are gonna ask, oh my God, what makes you uh, a luxury candle uh, inspired by this beautiful cologne, Savage from Christian Dior. Uh, this is one of my favorite colognes that I own. And for that, I went into the website, to the Savage uh, website, and I took notes of the different uh, ingredients that they use. I took a lot of notes in here uh, to do a research, you know, what, what, what were they inspired in order to create that, that fragrance. So I took all the information in here and what I did is I went to candlescience.com uh, and did an investigation of, uh, about all the uh, scents that they're having here, all the ingredients you know that, that they're having here, and I just wanted to see if I have any, any fragrance oils that I could use in order to um, get inspired by, by Sauvage. So I was able to pick the right combination, guys. So I picked um, Tonkan out from the Wooden Wood Company, I use bergamot and ambergris, and also I use cashmere vanilla. And guys, this gave me the most beautiful combination of uh, different fragrances, and they go excellent with each other. I'm telling you guys, the three of them together, oh my God, win, win, win combination. So, and I also added a little bit of Vibe Bar into the uh, wax, because I just wanted to give it a little bit of a kick, you know, to why not pick me up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna, uh, like I said before, I'm gonna put some pictures of the um, the final candle and after I put also these, uh, these rocks on top. Uh, yeah. So guys, I wanna thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you know anyone that would be interested in, uh, in my content, just uh, uh, recommend me. And also don't forget to uh, check out my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael, which is linked below on the description box. I have over 120 videos. So just start um, from the beginning, so you're gonna see my complete transformation. Okay guys, so on to the next video, and take care of yourself and each other, and bye. Hi guys, so let me show you the final product, guys. It's beautiful, look at this. So I decided to add some um, healing uh, quartz inside the vessel. Look at how beautifully it looks covered like this. And again, guys, I took a lot of pictures, so you're gonna see at the end of the video uh, how beautiful this looks. It looks like a uh, it looks like a jewel. Look at that! My goodness. Look at inside. Let me just show you. Uh, the inside is not really all set all, all set yet. It's, it's still a little bit warm. But let me just show you how beautiful it looks. I love the whiteness of the. Uh, it looks like snow. It looks like the rocks are sitting in snow. You know, it's a, it's telling like a story. You know, something different. Uh, yes, guys. So okay, guys. So I just wanted to show you the final result. And of course, I'm not going to be able to, to show you the, uh, the burn process because it's not really cured yet. So in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be uh, doing a, a, a burn test for, from this and all the candles that I've done. So, okay, guys. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Share my content with all your friends and people that may like my, uh, my content. And until the next one, guys, take care. Bye.